I'm really excited to show you today about pumpkins and squash and how you can use them and how they're so versatile, and especially during the holiday season when we're trying to save some money here and there and the squash is such a good way to do that. These are the blue Hubbard squash that my great grandmother used to grow in her garden. And this is what I'm gonna use today. It's not pretty, oh, but it's, ta-da. Let's go cook these. All right, now that we got these in the house, these are so beautiful. Look at that moist flesh. We're gonna get the seeds out. And what I wanna show you today is how you can take any squash or pumpkin and you can turn it into so many delightful things for the holidays. First of all, we're getting all these seeds out. This is really easy. You can get your kids to help you with this. It's a fun job for them to get messy and have fun. All right. And all I do, I don't even cut up my pumpkin. And this is what I call the lazy way to do it. Um, you simply put your squash or pumpkin upside down and you're gonna put it in an oven at 350 for one to one and a half hours. And that is gonna roast your pumpkin all beautiful and then you can get that puree out and make beautiful things with it. All right. I have these ones done right now. Just came out of the oven. I'm gonna show you how the beautiful goodness in there. It's all roasted. You can just kinda scrape off these darker spots. They actually taste really good, but if you're doing like a pumpkin pie, you might want it to be a little prettier. So, beautiful roasted puree. All right, so we're just gonna take that out. Put that in there. And you can make all kinds of beautiful things with this during the holiday season. I also use this puree to make the best homemade pumpkin soup. So good. And in our case, we are using squash. They both taste delicious. So whatever you have out of your garden. And another thing is just serving up this delicious puree with butter and salt and nutmeg and cinnamon. It is so good. It's such a good nourishing meal and you can make all kinds of things with it. Pumpkin curry and pumpkin, any dish that requires pumpkin puree. There's pumpkin smoothies. So it's so easy. You do not have to buy pumpkin in a can. You can just roast this pumpkin and you have beautiful puree. Look at this, beautiful. I'm gonna take this in just a little bit and I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious pumpkin soup that is so savory and so satisfying for cold winter days. All right, so we just got done roasting this squash earlier. And when you roast squash, you're just intensifying that flavor. And it makes a wonderful soup, pumpkin pie, seeds, just like we said before. So today we're gonna make a delicious, easy soup that you can serve during the holidays. And it's so good, it'll blow your mind. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start off with this garlic that I just minced. And the recipe will be on the blog, but I'm gonna still give you measurements and stuff here. So we started out with three or four cloves of garlic and about half an onion and then a little bit of oil. And we're just going to start sauteing that. I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil to saute all that garlic and onions. I'm gonna tip this big old board over my stock pot. And again, that's half an onion and about three or four cloves of garlic. I'm thinking that's looking good. So now we're gonna be taking eight cups of squash and adding it to our sauteed onions and garlic. And then I'm gonna add some broth that I just got done cooking, bone broth, from my chicken. 
And this is from the chickens that my mom and I butchered this summer and my family. And this is about four cups. You're gonna wanna cook this down for about 10 minutes just to kind of thicken it up a little after adding that broth. So I'm gonna turn this soup down now to low, kind of a medium low, low, whatever. You just don't want it to pop too much. Um, pumpkin soup, when it starts simmering, can pop and you don't want it to pop in your face or on the counter. So just let it simmer at low. And while it's doing that, you can start grating some Parmesan cheese. It just adds such an amazing texture to the soup. So I'm just gonna grate some of that. I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg to this when I'm done with the cheese. I'm gonna add a cup of Parmesan to the soup. That's a pretty healthy cup. Just stir it in until it melts really good into your soup. Soup's super hot, so it should melt pretty fast. And now that we're melted the cheese here, I'm gonna actually add a pint of thick cream to the soup. This is the best part. And this delicious cream is from my friend's cow. It's beautiful. And it's okay to add the cream in when it's hot. You're just gonna keep stirring it. So I'm gonna add some freshly grated nutmeg to here. Now, I like nutmeg. If you don't like it, then don't put it in. The seasoning is completely up to you. But the nutmeg and the Parmesan and the garlic and the onion, I just think it tastes amazing. All right, so I would add a couple teaspoons of salt to your soup now. It's all beautiful and creamy. And just a little bit of pepper, because I love me some pepper. Now that the soup is nice and piping hot, we're gonna want to um, blend it now in the blender in batches. You can also use an immersion blender too, um, but I, I use my Vita, Vitamix for everything. So, all right. So you're gonna wanna carefully pour it about halfway, because you want it to be able to aerate. So, and then we're gonna add some butter for good measure. Plus it makes it super smooth. So after um, getting this all blended up, I'm just gonna plate it, but you're gonna wanna just do batches until it's all blended up really nice. Um, I'm gonna put it in a bowl right now. It's really nice to add some um, slivers of Parmesan cheese in your bowl and then put your soup in. And you're just going to add a few more. You can add nuts, bread, toasted bread, crackers, whatever you like. Now I've got to try this. Oh, it looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. It's so economical. Talk about not wasting anything, you know? Cook yourself up a squash or pumpkin and you can make seeds as a snack for your kids. Pumpkin pie and delicious savory soup. You can even just mash up your pumpkin and add salt and butter and call it good for dinner. But yeah, this is delicious. <laughs>